And welcome back to the CrossFit ELM at home workouts, hashtag Corona Wad. You can also use the hashtag doing my part CO, doing my part Colorado. Um, Cause we're doing some stay at home workouts because we're in a stay at home order still. So um, today's workout, we get to answer the um, not so age old question. What the heck is a reverse burpee? Um, we'll start from the top down with this one. We'll go through the warm up, the workout and the cool down. The warm up today is three rounds of 30 second down dog calf stretch, a 10 count chan, 10 V ups and 10 push ups to a T. So the down dog calf stretch, if you've done any yoga, you've done down, downward dog. So you're down like this, hips way high in the air, legs straight, head between ears. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shift my focus to one leg driving that heel down to the ground, but kind of stretching out that calf, 30 seconds. And you can put your other foot on, the, on there as well, um, 30 seconds. Uh, 10 count chan, again, our chan shoulder sequence has four parts. Part one is you're wringing out your shoulders like a towel. Part two is swinging back and up, okay? Part three is swinging open and across crossing hands every, or switching hands every time you come across. Uh, and part four is jumping jacks, jumping jack arms with no jump, okay? You need 10 of each of those. V-ups, this is one that is, uh, has a little bit of a rescue to it. So a full on V-up, I'm going to extend my entire body and try to touch my toes with my hands by folding myself in half, okay? If you don't have that capacity, that's okay. Bring your hands down and then just do a knee tuck. Okay. Um, push ups to a T. I'm going to get a good push up position from the ground because we push up, we don't let down. Push up, turn, make a T, come back down. One, two, and so on. Okay. Three rounds of our warm up today. Workout is five rounds of 60 ski jumps, 40 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, and 10 reverse burpees. Now, the ski jumps is what I have a dumbbell out for. Um, ski jumps are literally, I want you to stand in good position, okay, like you're holding ski poles. But the reason I want you to hold this position is this is also about where you should be holding your arms when you go for a run, okay? So I'm gonna take this position, tight everything, like almost like a hollow body here, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna jump side to side over an imaginary line, doing ski hops. If you want the extra challenge, you can do these over a dumbbell. Just pay attention so you don't trip and go flying through your TV, <laughs> okay? Um, sit-ups are sit-ups, guys. Old school sit-ups here. If you have an ab mat, you can use it. If, if sit-ups bug your low back, roll up a towel and put it about where your low back's gonna be for some support there, okay? Coming all the way back, and then when I sit up, I'm gonna sit up tall. A lot of times when we do sit-ups, we round our backs, we go backwards, and then we come up and we crunch up and we have that rounded back, and that's not what we want. Hold neutral spine and move at the hip, okay? And of course now, answering the not so age old question is, what the heck is a reverse burpee? So a full on reverse burpee is, um, when you roll backwards, okay? I'm gonna sit down, roll back, and then come back up, and then try to kick to a handstand, all right? Now you may have low ceilings, so just do your do the best you can, get your feet as high as you can. Um, I did skip over the push-ups, guys, but they're just push-ups. Make sure you get chest to deck and extend all the way out. You can do knee push-ups or push-ups on the back of a chair. Um, but for that reverse burpee, that's what you're looking for, okay? The rescue for a reverse burpee is, I want you to get as low as you can in a squat, stand back up, and then kick the leg up if you can, okay? Or just give yourself that simulation, 
all right? So if you can't sit down and stand back up, and the, the goal is don't let your hands touch the ground when you do that part of it, okay? If you have to, you have to, but try not to. That's what a reverse burpee is. So you have 60 ski jumps, 40 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, 10 reverse burpees. Cool down. We're gonna come back to that down dog calf stretch, and then we're gonna do a minute on each side of twisted cross, which is laying on the ground. I'm going to put my arms out like a cross, pack those shoulders back, pick a shoulder, rotate over top, and hold a minute on each side. So that is your workout for Friday, uh, April 3rd. Have a great workout, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.